These are the directions for Workplace 3E Fractions and Decimals. The materials each player will need to play this workplace would be two fraction and decimals record sheets, one spinner overlay, and some colored pencils in several different colors. Each player will spin the spinner one time, and whoever spins the larger fraction will go first. If player one spun the larger fraction out of both players, they will spin the spinner again and read aloud the fraction that was spun. For example, player one spun 1 20th. Player one will then convert the fraction to a decimal and color in the value of the decimal on the base 10 mats on their record sheet. They will also write the fraction in equivalent decimal amount on the record sheet. I would then write in under fraction 1 20th and then write that in the decimal form. Now that I have my chart filled out as well as the grid filled out for what I spun, player two will go. And both players will take turns spinning and recording until one player's base 10 map is completely filled. Players should use a different color to record the results to each turn on their base 10 mats. If player one was the first person to exceed one hole or one hole mat, player two will take one more turn and each player will add up their decimals and record the total amount of, in the decimal column on the record sheet. The player who is closest to one whole mat, either over or under, wins. That player then circles the winner on the record sheet. These are the end of the directions for workplace 3E, fractions and decimals.